first reading a reading from the second book of kings chapter 19 verses 9 to 11 14 to 21 and 31 to 36 when the king heard concerning king tirhaka of ethiopia see he has set out to fight against you he sent messengers again to hezekiah saying Thus shall you speak to King Hezekiah of Judah Do not let your god on whom you rely deceive you by promising that Jerusalem will not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria See you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands destroying them utterly Shall you be delivered Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it Then Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord and Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said O Lord the God of Israel who art enthroned above the cherubim you are God you alone of all the kingdoms of the earth you have made heaven and earth incline your ear O Lord and hear open your eyes O Lord and see Hear the words of Sennacherib which he has sent to mock the living God Truly O Lord the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands and have hurled their gods into the fire though they were no gods but the work of human hands wood and stone and so they were destroyed so now O Lord our God save us I pray you from his hand so that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you o lord are god alone then isaiah son of amos sent to hezekiah saying thus says the lord the god of israel i have heard your prayer to me about king sennacherib of assyria this is the word that the lord has spoken concerning him she despises you she scorns you virgin daughter zion She tosses her head behind your back daughter Jerusalem for from Jerusalem a remnant shall go out and from Mount Zion a band of survivors the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this therefore thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria he shall not come into this city shoot an arrow there come before it with a shield or cast up a siege ramp against it By the way that he came by the same he shall return he shall not come into this city says the lord for i will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for the sake of my servant david that very night the angel of the lord set out and struck down 185000 in the camp of the assyrians when morning dawned they were all dead bodies Then king Sennacherib of Assyria left went home and lived at Nineveh the word of the lord The lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew do not give what is holy to dogs and do not throw your pearls before swine or they will trample them under foot and turn and maul you in everything do to others as you would have them to do to you for this is the law and the prophets enter through the narrow gate and the road is easy that leads to destruction and there are many who take it for the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life and there are few who find it the saving gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in christ my dear children and my dear young people today tuesday we are on the 12th week of the ordinary time of the liturgy the gospel passage given to us is from matthew chapter 7 verses 6 and then 12 to 14 the It is a beautiful word that comes in verse 6 do not give what is holy to dogs it is important that we should not be should not be 
uh, destroying what is holy by manipulating the religion and the liturgy and the rituals that we have in the church according to our taste and according to our wills and fancies. And he says, in fact, uh, do not throw your pearls in front of pigs. So what is important, what is holy, must be kept holy in our heart and in our conduct of life. Then we go to verse 12. It says, do for others what you want them to do for you. And this is the golden rule in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, especially in the book of Tobit, chapter 4, verse 15. Do to others what you want others to do to you. And how much of the spirituality is there in this reading, in this verse? Because all our life depends on how we deal and how we act, how we live with the other person. And Jesus is asking us, in order to enter God's kingdom, we are given two aspects for our consideration today. Because you know, from verses 13 to 14, he says, enter through the narrow gate. When you want to enter heaven, enter through the narrow gate. So what are the true elements that are presented to us in the gospel today? Keep holy what is holy in life. And on the second, or the rather, the second element is to do to others what we want others to do to us. These are two different, or rather, two ways of living and conducting our ways on our earth in this world in order to be worthy of entering into God's kingdom through the narrow gate. Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear children and my dear young people, in the silence of our heart, with our eyes closed, opening our, our conscience, our presence to the eternal presence of the Heavenly Father, loving Father, Help us to understand the meaning of what is holy in our life revealed to us through your Son in the church, through the sacred liturgy. Help us to behave and conduct ourselves in a worthy manner, what and in the ways that we would like others to do to us. Help us therefore to prepare in a worthy manner to enter your kingdom in the narrow gate of which you have spoken to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.